stable world of circuit driving. An empty racetrack is heaven, a place where you can let yourself go. No police, no speed cameras and no chance of losing your licence. To be quick around a track, which you'll have to be to win a race, you need to learn the basics. At first, you won't believe how much space you've got until you get it all wrong and find yourself running out of room and heading for the tyre wall. ...to all cars, which you have to understand and harness to your best advantage. The 125 BHP Volkswagen Lupo GTI is cute and front-engined. It's light but doesn't have neck-breaking horsepower. Because it's not that fast, you'll be tempted to chuck it around and have fun. It's a giggle, but not the fastest way to drive. Chill out and make use of the power that you've got. The Mercedes SL has a stomping 493 bhp right in front of your nose and at almost two tons it's almost twice the weight of the Lupo. There's stacks of tyre burning grunt under your right foot but as it's a heavy beast you have to drive the SL using your head. Fling it about and it'll be a remortgage before bedtime. The Lotus Elise only has 118 bhp, which doesn't sound like enough power for a trip down to the shops, but then it weighs just 725 kilograms, about the same as a shopping trolley. It's mid-engined, which gives it excellent balance and fantastic steering, but it's short, which makes it easy to spin, so if you do get into trouble, you'll need lightning reactions to pull it back. The great Ayrton Senna had a hand in developing the Honda NSX. Honed from aluminium for low weight and powered by a 3.2 litre V6 with 276 bhp mounted behind your head, the NSX revs all the way to 9,000 rpm and sounds fantastic. Finally, the Nissan 350Z. Front engine, rear wheel drive. Same as the SL, but without the weight. Driving the Z is pure fun. It's really well balanced and great to drift. And as you can see, it looks just gorgeous. When you first go on a racetrack, you'll only be thinking about driving fast and wowing your mates with a quick lap time. Typically, you'll be driving like this, with big swings of the steering wheel and frantic movements trying to keep it all together in the belief that you're laying down a fast lap. Big mistake. Just concentrate on driving smoothly and you'll start improving your lap time without even realising it. This is what you should be aiming for. Our pro driver has now calmed down and is getting it right. It could be your granddad on his way to the shops to pick up a paper. No sudden movements, no drama, and it's fast. So, be smooth. It's as simple as pouring a pint. Now we've mastered the art of being smooth, we need to understand the racing line. This line is the fastest route around a circuit. When a racing driver talks about learning a circuit, he means that he's working out where the natural line runs. At each corner, there's a point at which you should turn the car into the bend, clip its apex, and a point at which you should exit. Gran Turismo's Kazunori talks of the racing line as an element that the car itself will define. 
Whenever I'm driving on a track, my attention is focused on being calm and smooth. I always aim for a smooth lap. The secret of driving fast is to let the car go the way it wants to, not to fight it. The racing line isn't necessarily the most geometrically efficient line. Rather, it's the line which the car